Bill Maru, Toy Canics. Hey Crew Maru fans, what are we doing today? Well, I'm going to show you some heat tricks. I just opened this um, McFarlane Red Hood Nightwing 2-pack. I was going to do a little thigh mod on them, and I noticed that this gun has uh, apparently died of a broken heart. I don't know, it's so sad. Um, but there's a way to fix this. So here we have our sad pistol, and I'm going to show you a little fun trick. Now I use a heat gun. This has multiple settings on it. This is uh, more advanced. It's like a super hair dryer, but you would never want to use this on your head because it would burn you severely. Uh, watch as we add heat to it. And this is going to be in real time. I'm not going to speed this up or anything. You can already see it starting to move back. All right. And now we see that it's nice and straight. It's still, as you can see, it's been very, it's been heated up. So all we have to do is either a you can leave it alone because this is what happened here was the heat you know redistributes all the molecules in here and whatnot and science it basically softens it back up to its original form and yeah that's pretty much it <laughs> it basically uh brings it back to its normal form now like a this is softer plastic and you can do this on softer plastic no big deal and uh, you can see here that this is where I was holding it with my pliers so it didn't burn my hands and so it put a little ding in there, which that can also, if you heat this up, can also uh, get rid of that. You can see that there's no mark anymore. Isn't that cool? Super smooth. But here's something that's really, really cool. So I thought I'd take my boy Junk right here and show you a really cool thing you can do with heat and coolness. So what you're wanting to do here is, let's say we want this hand to grip. We want it to grip something, right? Uh, whether it be, let's use, uh, let's since we're using this pistol, we're gonna use this as our example. So as you can see here, this does not look correct. This is how nobody holds a firearm correctly. But we can change this with a little bit of heat and some quick movements. So what you're going to want to do real quick is you're going to want to heat up this hand, correct? Keep your object nearby if you're wanting to fit this to a specific object. So we're going to basically remold this hand using heat. But what you're also going to need to have is some cold water running nearby. So basically what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to heat this up. I have to run into the bathroom real quick, which is actually pretty close to my room. And then I'm going to show you while running under cold water, how we can reheat and remold and reshape this. So step one, heat up your hand. Or whatever object you're wanting to change the shape of, basically. You can see that, look at that, look at those little fingers. All right, so that's good. Now, you want to grab your firearm and rush to the water. Hold your gun in position and run the cold water over it while holding it in position. And now as you can see, our hand has been molded to hold the gun. Now, is it perfect right now? Probably not, no. Uh, as I had to do this pretty quickly and I rushed it. So now you can see that our hand will actually hold a gun properly now. Um, is it correct? Not exactly. Uh, basically, I was rushing to show you guys this. I wanted to show you kind of in real time. Um, obviously, this finger should move up. This finger should move up and that's not even a problem. If you want, just like I showed you earlier with the pistol, say you're not happy with how you molded this. All you have to do is once again, heat it up. 
and you'll watch as it reforms to its an original position. And then while it's heated up, you can reshape it again. So I just did it one more time, exactly how I did it a minute ago, only this time I actually took my time and did it with both hands. And as you can see, boom, we've got a nice gripping hand. Everything's coming up explodey. So actually while you're running this underwater, you could actually just keep the hand bent with your finger here and not put the gun in it. And you can get a much tighter fit because if you do heat this up and uh, cool it down with the gun in the hand, it might be a little loose. So if you'd like, you can hold it like so, let this finger extend out a little bit and then you're all set. See? So here's a sight. I really hope you guys learned something today and uh, I hope to see a lot of cool creations come from this technique. Uh, it's nothing truly revolutionary on my part. I just wanted to share uh, how I utilize this function and uh, it, it works on a lot of things. So hopefully, like I said, you guys learned something. Take care out there and I'll keep repairing.